again, darling viewers. It is Jen here at Chuck Her Joy. Today I am reviewing Beyond the Bright Sea by Lauren Wolf. This is a J fiction historical novel, so it's geared towards like upper elementary and middle schoolers. It is a mystery adventure story. It takes place in 1925. It centers around this character named Crow, who is this young woman who's 12 at the time we're looking at this book. But when she was born, she was put into this boat and she washed up on the shore of this one island in the Atlantic over by Massachusetts. So they're over by Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard area. Um, but it's one of those islands that is pretty unpopulated and becomes popular during the summer. But like the rest of the year, there's just a few inhabitants there who are basically purposely trying to stay away from big cities and large crowds. Um, and the person who finds Crow is named Osh. And he's one of the people who is on this island basically to avoid the rest of the world. And they have one other friend, Miss Maggie, who also lives on the island, kind of to be away from everybody. Although Maggie is more outgoing and a, more well-off than Osh and Crow, who are pretty much poor and just subsisting off the island and what they can fish. But it's a mystery story because Crow just washed up on shore one day when she was a baby. And they don't know where she came from. So she doesn't know who her birth parents are or why she was like washed up. Was she given up? Was it an accident? She doesn't know anything about her family and she wants to. Like she has a family in Osh and Miss Maggie, like this found family, but she wants to know about her birth family too. And this leads to an entire adventure story relating to this nearby lover colony and this treasure hunter who is like sneaking around trying to find lost pirate treasure. It's really exciting and interesting, and Crow is a really relatable character. I loved seeing the island life. Um, it's historical fiction. It's set in the 1920s. So it's also like we're transported to another time and place completely. She also has an adorable cat named Mouse because Mouse makes a sound that her meow sound like she's saying the word mouse, which was adorable. The mystery in here was, it was interesting. Like I wanted to know where her parents were. Um... She tells Osh that she's interested in finding out, and he's hesitantly encouraging on this. Like, he wants her to know who she, where she came from, and he understands that this is important to her, but also he's been her father for the last 12 years, and he's understandably a little bit hurt that his child, like, he isn't enough for her. So that's part of the journey, too, is her deciding what's important and where her real family is. Miss Maggie is an awesome character, because even though it's 1920s, she's a woman living by herself. She's running basically a farm. So she's got sheep and horses and animals to take care of. Um, and she's doing it all on her own. She doesn't have a husband. She doesn't have any man, which is kind of spectacular for that time period. She's just like doing what she needs to do. She's a fun, strong character. She's also teaching uh, Crow. So like Crow goes to Miss Maggie's house and does her school lessons there because basically everyone on the island assumes that Crow is from the leper colony. And even though she's been there for like 12 years and clearly does not have leprosy, the uh, other students and the teachers and the other islanders are very cautious around her. Um, and so she doesn't get to go to school with the normal kids. So she's got this, her own little isolated bubble in a world that is happening. And she's definitely feeling prejudiced because of the leprosy thing. She's also a bit darker skin than Osh. And Miss Maggie, although I'm not exactly sure how much darker, like, should she just have a tan? Is she Hispanic? Is she from a black background? That's um, kind of ambiguous and up to the, the reader to decide. But she's definitely experiencing prejudice because of the leprosy thing. It's also a story about a girl growing up and finding out who she is, but also who she, like, finding out who she is from her background, but also who she's going to become. And what she values. Does she want to stay on the island with Osh? Does she want to go out and explore the mainland? Um, she's got some decisions she's starting to make in this book. Uh, it's definitely a coming of age story. The writing was so good. And I loved seeing the island. Um, and the descriptions of that life. And just grow. And she's definitely an age where she's starting to think about the world. And processing it. Um, and knows what's going on around her. There's also the whole treasure thing with like there's a pirate story we're being told and they're treasure hunting that's going on in here which is just always exciting and then there's also the really bad guy also threatening them um so there's danger in this book there's so many different aspects of this book that are so delicately woven into each other and the story just flows and it's great so i enjoy beyond the bright sea even as an adult reading this story 
Um, it was a great summer read also. So it'll be like, imagine I'm on the ocean and the, this island with tons of sand. Um, yeah. But also there's mystery and fun to be had with it. Beyond the Bright Sea by Lauren Wolf. I gave it four out of five stars just because it's so much fun, but also interesting and adventurous. Um, yeah. So peace out. I love you all. I keep reading. Bye.